I think it's really important that we like make a stance and say that we, we are actually going to do something to solve this problem. I'm here to participate in a policy simulation directly copying that of the UNCCC negotiations, which will soon be happening in Paris, which will sort of decide the global landscape and its approach to climate change. We all basically work together to hopefully meet a goal of reducing our emissions that would allow us by 2100 to not increase the temperature more than two degrees Celsius. I'm representing China. It's very interesting to take the American viewpoint that I've gotten from school and other like American exposures that I've gotten and apply that in a way that still fits China's policy. Having to sort of switch my viewpoint and look at it from a completely different aspect is something that I think is really unique and interesting. We are prepping ourselves for the big discussions that will be coming soon and how we're going to approach these very real existential threats. I learned a lot more, uh, lot more life skills about how to negotiate and how important it is to try to look at other people's ideas because in politics you don't always get what you want. In politics you have to be able to try to find common ground and this exercise allowed me to see how politicians actually work and how difficult it is for them to try to get policies enacted. What political leaders do today is definitely going to affect our future, um, especially in regards to climate. I think being a student here makes, you, uh, makes me a little bit less frustrated and makes me feel that in the near future I can actually do something to control the way the climate is when I'm an adult. I am hopeful for the Paris Climate Talks because, as they said earlier, I think this is one of the last resort chances for a lot of people to come together and think about how we actually can combat climate change. It's really important for political leaders of today to acknowledge what we want because ultimately this is going to be an, a bigger issue that our generation is going to have to really focus on. Today as a youth, in the face of such great threats, such great contingencies, you know, there's a large spectrum of ideas, a lot of large spectrums of solutions and a lot of great passion and what we do have in common. The one golden thread that runs among us is that we do care about our future. So when we argue, when we disagree, when we get mad at each other, we all know and have that mutual respect, knowing that we are arguing for the very best and that we all share a passion for our future.